Hey, how you doing? It's me, and here with the live show that I promised. And sorry, it's been such a while coming. Uh, let's see who we've got in tonight. Got a few of you in already, five at the moment watching. So, hey, and uh, let's see who oh, hello, let's tonight. turn that down. <laughs> okay, Jamal, nice to see you. Christian, what's happening? Uh, Richard Pierce. Have you checked out Sunfield Music Guitars? Uh, and I've got a bad mic. Does it sound bad? Let me tell. Let me know what it sounds like in the comments. Does it sound too loud or too quiet? I think it probably didn't sound great on the acoustic guitar because it's just a lapel mic. Should sound all right um, for my speaking. So, hey, 21 of you watching already, real good to see you. And as promised, I'm coming to you live from the new filming area in the studio. What do you think? Do you like my Union Jack carpet? Do you like my, my walls? <laughs> uh, let's have a see. I'm just going to go over onto the live chat. I'm really bad at this, so I do apologize. Just going to do a little bit about what's coming up in 2019. I'm, I have been a bit ill. I've had a really, as you can probably still hear, a little bit of the remnants of a, um, a nasty chest infection. <clears throat> so I will be constantly having a little drop of water as we go. And I won't be on for ages tonight. But yeah, let me know what you think of the new filming zone. And I'll, I've just got your comments on my phone, so not quite sure that they're all coming through actually uh i'm not brilliant at following these oh hello there we go that's more like it uh when you played the guitar yeah it sounded bad oh wow yeah tons and tons of you now uh hey guys uh let's have a look bs detective good to see you mate um uh, Cyborg Day Guitars. My eyesight isn't brilliant. I'm not putting glasses on. Uh, Will Varilla. Hey, man. Glad to see you better. Thanks, brother. Uh, Han Solo. Hey, Han36 Solo. Good to see you, my friend. Paul Kelcher. Um, Kim's Workshop. Yeah, when I played the guitar. Yeah, I, I, I reckon that's probably because... It's the, the mic is here and the sound hole was in front of me. So yeah, that's that's pretty normal. Pete Morrison, hey, how you doing, Peter? Got good sound. Chris King, hi. And nice bricks, like it, cool. Yeah, Jamel likes the look of it. Looking good, Will likes the look of it. Uh, Theresa May approves of that carpet. I bet she does as of today. Uh, the Brexit carpet. <laughs> well, we can call it that, can't we? Um, can I have one of your fake PRS? Yes, of course you can, Christian. Help yourself. Come and see me. Uh, join the club. Guinness is the only cure. Love your wall. Hello from Florida. Hello from cold Florida. Looking good. That D45. A new name for your channel, Wall Street. <laughs> and, yeah, some... We've got a number of you uh, watching now. I will have a little look in the comments as we go along. But I just wanted to say Happy New Year to everybody. And I hope that the Christmas and holiday season was good to you. And I hope you had a really good New Year's celebration. As you can hear, I, uh, I had a really, really bad chest infection and um, a flu, a, a real bad um, fever that put me in bed for a few days. So I was really not very well from New Year's Day. Nothing to do with the amount I drunk on New Year's Eve. But yeah, really um, not feeling great, unfortunately. And since then, I've been in production for a week. And even though I haven't been quite right yet, I still had a good week and uh, a bit of fun there. And actually, I've done a couple of unboxing videos already this year that are coming through with my bad voice on them, <laughs> but lots of exciting stuff coming up. I've got about five or six videos waiting in the queue, and I haven't released one yet in 2019 because I'd promised you guys that the first video I did in 2019 would be this live one. So I thought, hey, 
soon as I get the opportunity. And tonight was the first opportunity that I've had to do it. So here I am live. We've got tons of stuff coming up in 2019. I've made a little list so that I try and get most of the stuff that we've got in the first quarter of 19 coming up. Uh, as I said, I've already done some reviews of gear that are waiting to go live. I've got at least two, maybe up to four more Gitcom videos to come. So lots of good stuff there. I did a video with Mike Bradley at Gitcom that I'm going to release. I also did a great video having a jam out with the guys from In The Blue, Shane and Dr. Rick, and had a real good time with them. So there's at least those two videos coming. And I also did some reviews of Framus guitars while I was there. And I did a couple of other little videos. I'm not absolutely certain that the quality of those has come out as I would like them for you guys. So we'll be touch and go on whether or not I show you those. Um, I have got a really exciting exclusive coming up, a, an exclusive premiere of an amp unboxing, a European exclusive, coming for you very, very soon. Um, and I can't tell you much more than that. Let's have a quick look, see what the, uh, what the comments are saying. I'm just going to scroll back. Uh, where are we? Uh, good to see you back. That's uh, Matt number 10. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Um, XGN, anorexic fat guy. Hi, how you doing? Is that mic stand made into a lamp? Yes, it is. This is a this is a bit of a, a self work of art, and I've got one of these old fashioned uh, LED bulbs and a brass fitting that I thought looked really cool just to sit in that mic stand with a pop shield in front of it. So yeah, just a bit of fun. Now I've knocked it out of alignment. Never mind. But glad you like that, or hope you like that. Um, Hey, Lance Moss, good to see you, my friend, and good to have a mod in the house as well. Hope you've uh, had a good New Year so far, Lance, and Happy New Year to you, my friend. Jack Clark, glad you're feeling better. Looking forward to a new video. Cool, excellent. Uh, some Dave dude, is there a rebrand coming? No, no rebrand coming. We voted on that last year, and we decided, or you guys decided, I should say, that we're going to stick with China Guitar Skeptics. So uh bv ninja salut yeah cool we caught up earlier on mike parmesano's live stream really cool to catch you there i was just testing this as it happened while while we were watching that and um yeah that's why i didn't hang around for the whole of it but nice to catch up with you there maybe you should give your the pm your ideas about a list <laughs> yeah let's think about that uh, the guitar lad, maybe. Hmm. I think we've uh, we've pretty much put that to bed now, folks. Uh, Four Walls Music. Hello, chap. How you doing? Uh, who else have we got? Come on, tell us more. I've got a list of stuff to tell you. I will tell you. Uh, I'm just trying to say hello to everybody. Uh, Brian Cote. Hey, how you doing? And should I be skeptical? Nice guitar, should I be skeptical? Well, uh, you should be skeptical about this one because this is the uh, D45 fake that attracted a lot of attention. I've just been having a bit of a, a noodle on tonight. And actually, I've just spotted that because I leave it out here as a bit of a beater, somebody has beaten it. They've clearly had a much harder strum than I have and they've scratched down that pit guard there. But hey, if I turn it this way, you might actually get a bit more through this mic. Just a nice little lead chord there. Okay, so yeah, I wasn't bringing this out to play it tonight, so let's pop it out of the way. In fact, let's, let's get rid of it all together. Okay, got a few more comments. Let's have a see who's in. Um, We've got, uh, we did Mike, cool, yeah, yeah. Uh, any good acoustic electric copies coming for the Gigging Pro on a budget? Well, funny enough, I would like to try a couple of additional acoustic guitars, but before we do that, I've got at least one electric guitar that's over there that I've already unboxed, and I just need to do the demo of it now before I can edit the video down, and that'll be coming. Also, I've, as I said, I've got a couple of guitars from Framus 
to um, do a video on from when I was at GitCon. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But yeah, definitely, definitely would like to. Uh, let's have a look. What else have we got? Any new PRSSE on the way? I love this guitar. Do you know, I was looking at some of the other ones in the range of this limited edition maple fretboard, and it seems that these really were a limited edition of 100 of each color in Europe, because now when you go to buy the same guitar, they've changed the headstock to maple as well, instead of this black. And I can't get another one of these now. I was hoping to get another one as a spare, because I really have fallen in love with this guitar. Let's have a look. Michael Jackson said it best, just beat it. <laughs> I take it you're talking about the, um, the D45, not me. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Hey, happy Wednesday, everyone. Yeah, that's nice. Um, hey, hey, Johnny Bean. Must be the dog sneaking in a few licks. I don't have a dog, my friend. <laughs> Hey, Terry, good to see you in the house, mate. Great to see you. Chris King, Four Walls Music. Seriously, though, beautiful setup. Is this your apartment, home, stroke, studio only? This is just one corner of the studio that I've built out in the, out in the garden. And at the other end, I've got the bit that you normally see. But I've just created this as something a little bit more relaxed chilled out and informal and also i'm hoping to do quite a few more interviews which i'll i'll tell you a bit more about in a minute so uh, i figured that this is a much nicer sort of informal chilled out just looks nicer i think uh hope the lighting's coming out okay i've got spots in the ceiling and i've also got the soft boxes either side as well as this LED light behind, and of course the colored LEDs, which I think we're losing a bit. There's blue on this side and red on this side. And uh, when I turn the other lights out, you can see it a lot better. But I think this is certainly uh, the way to go for, uh, for doing a live show and getting the, uh, the, the light right. So let me know what you think. But no, this is, this is out in, in my garden studio. So really very, very lucky. Worked very hard on this over the Christmas break and, yeah, just put up this, this look for you guys. Hope you're liking it. Lance Moss says, hey, Terry. Uh, Terry says, wow, nice setup. Thanks, Terry. Really appreciate that. Uh, he's saying hi to Lance. Will and many others. Any more news on the loan accords and play? Ah, was that me or is that somebody else? I've got a feeling that you asked me to do that as a learner lick, which was a series that I was trying out last year. Do you know, um, if that's still popular and you would like me to do it, I'll still do it. But I try out these little series and I do a, you know, a one or two and see how well they are received because I don't want to put out content that nobody wants or very few people want. But if there's a lot of demand for it, then yeah, sure, I'll do I'll do more, and uh, we'll have a go at the loner. That's for sure. Um, uh, some Dave dude is that case? Oh right, sorry. In that case. Ali B and B has EVH guitars. I would love you to order and review. Okay, well send me send me a couple of links, uh, Dave, and I'll have a look at those. Paul said, "Did you see Rick Beato interviewing Paul Reed Smith? It was quite good." Yes, I watched that from start to finish. I like to watch all of Rick's videos. He's a he's a very dear friend of mine uh, since I met him at, at GitCon in Germany in October. And yeah, I try to catch a load of his stuff whenever it's whenever it's possible for me. Sometimes his live shows, like he's got a second live channel now, and he went live, I think it ended up being four or five o'clock in the morning over here. So I missed that. But I watched the whole interview with Paul Reed Smith, and that was really, really interesting, hearing what he had to say, particularly about the, the Silver Sky. Paul's a very quirky guy, I think was the comment that I put on, on Rick's channel. And... He has got a reputation for blowing off interviewers and, and giving them a hard time, but he seemed to have a 
pretty decent mutual respect going with Rick Beato. So it was a nice video. It was good to see Rick meeting him. It, I'm looking forward to seeing more of the factory tour um, because I haven't seen that yet. And yeah, did watch that though. Did watch the interview. Yeah. Did you watch it, Paul? And what did you think? Obviously you did. Uh, Johnny Bean says, looks great. Thank you, my friend. Uh, let's see what else have we got. Right. Would love to see how they differ from us US guys making our own. Fairly, fairly nice. Um, four walls. Thanks, my friend. Good to know that the lighting is perfect. Really, really glad that that's coming out okay. It's important. Terry <laughs> C. Terry uh, saying uh, it's shaggerific. <laughs> Looks cool to jam in, mate. Yeah, I'm hoping that people will want to come here and and be interviewed and just chill out and maybe share a, a coffee in the daytime or a beer in the evening and just come and jam out with me. I've put the Marshall here at the moment and the Vox Valtronic at the other side so that we can we can sit and jam if we want to. I've had a couple of friends over to jam in the space already and it's been good fun but nothing yet that I, that's ready to go out over youtube so I'm, I'm hoping to do that soon uh lost the link for the prs copies any info uh i don't think you mean me i never ever put up a link to any of the uh the the copy guitars that i've uh, warned you against i um i haven't got any links for any of those because actually one of the things that i should reiterate for everybody especially those of you that are new to the channel is that i haven't bought a chinese fake or a copy guitar for about five years and a lot of the sellers that i used when i did buy a few have gone they change their store they get bad feedback and then they change the name of their store and they shut the old store down to get rid of the bad feedback and open a new one so uh I, i've lost any links for anybody out there and i wouldn't recommend it to anybody never have uh let's have a look yeah um ses guitar says yes love your prs se looking forward to the new nam se yeah, and especially the SE Paul's guitar. That looks great. I would love to have gone to NAM at the end of this month, but with holiday entitlement, because I still work full time, I don't do YouTube for a living like um, many of my counterparts. I, I, I also work a full time job, hence the bags under my eyes. But um, I, I couldn't justify the holiday just in case GitCon goes ahead again this year. And um, I'm fortunate enough to be invited. So i've saved that week of holiday so i won't be going to nam this year at least not winter nam if gitcon i haven't heard it was about this time maybe a little bit later last year that i heard about gitcon so if i don't hear by uh, end of february march time then i may well go to summer nam instead so uh, we'll we'll watch this space but yeah definitely looking forward to those uh, Paul's guitar in the SE range. They really did sound good. I was watching a video, the release video with Paul and his COO this morning. I can't remember the guy's name, but they had the three, the red, the yellow, and the blue uh, SE guitars there in, in Paul's guitar. And Paul was saying it was reminiscent of when they, they first started with the red, yellow, and blue and the coo guy said that wasn't any coincidence that was that was on purpose and uh, really really cool to see those coming and i think now let me get this right these have got the 8515s in haven't they it's paul's guitar the se has have done a uh, um a korean version of the 504 pickups which is what paul originally put into his guitar which are the the slightly thinner humbuckers that that sound a little bit more p90 like got a bit more of a single coil characteristic and clean up really beautifully so yeah i can't wait to get my hands on one of those and i'll review one for you as soon as i can oh thanks terry welcome yes absolutely welcome everybody to to the live stream old and new and there have been quite a number of you i've gained over a thousand subscribers over the christmas period and 
that's really really special so thank you so much if you are new and you're joining us for a live stream for the first time i haven't done many in the past but i have promised to do something about that and i'll try and do a few more in 2019 i'm going to aim to do now here we go i'm going to put it out there for you and let's see if i can let's see if i can stick to this i'm going to aim to do at least six this year so that's one every other month possibly more if you'd like to see more let me know and I'll try and do more. But I'm going to aim to do at least one every other month. I don't want to do overkill. I will do some live um, on-site, if you like, um, broadcast, live broadcast from places that I go to as well. So if I do end up going back to GitCon again this year, I will definitely resurrect the live stream and I'll be doing plenty from there. And if I... There's a few other things on my list that I'm going to let you know that are going on this year. And I will do some live streams from some of those events as well. Uh, let's see what else have we got. Curious. Do you do this full time? Are you a full time musician and YouTuber? I think I answered that. I might be way behind now because I, I haven't scrolled down far enough. But no, I, I work full time. This is this is a little hobby. Uh Showman Blues, hey, good to see you, my friend. Uh, now you need one of those Union Jack uh, dots, Epi dot Sheratons to match. <laughs> Sheratons. Yeah, I, I tell you what, actually, I nearly bought an Epiphone Les Paul today. I was um, out for work, and I went past a like a secondhand shop, almost like a pawn shop or a junk shop, and in the window, I thought I caught out the corner of my eye a Les Paul. And I thought, I'll just stop because it would make quite an interesting story if it turns out to be a fake. And when I got a bit closer, it wasn't a fake. It was an Epiphone. But also, while I was in there, I saw a Fender Strat. And the price that it was up for was ridiculous. And when I had a closer look at the, at the headstock, it looked to me like it was a 63 or a 64 strap for a ridiculous price. So I went in to see it and I'm going to do a little video about what, what I saw for you guys. So there will be another video coming up on that because I got a photograph of the headstock and it's quite interesting. Uh, I agree that PRS seemed quirky. He may have heard of Rick as a producer, maybe that helped. Yeah, I guess. I, I certainly think he must have known him to uh, to be interviewed. <laughs> They're a very funny BS detective, yeah. <laughs> That's a real bum crack. Uh, let's scroll down a bit more. Hello, website CGS is closed. Yeah, I've got a bit of a problem with the website actually at the moment. It's a WordPress website, and I went the other day to do all the automatic updates to the website and the thing crashed. And I'm just waiting on tech support from my ISP. Uh, well, not my ISP, my domain host to have a look into it for me. So it should be up and running again soon. I've raised a query um, and as soon as I can get it back up and running, I will, but it's, yeah, it's, it's down at the moment. Sorry about that. Yeah, I did answer your question there. Yeah. Thanks, Terry. First time checking this guy out. Very cool guy. I wonder who you're talking to about. Not me, obviously. Chris King. Harley Benton. Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Hey, do you know if the famous artist is made in Germany or somewhere else? All of the famous guitars, as far as I am aware, are made in Germany. They've got the artist, the master built, and the custom series, and I believe that they're all made in Germany now. I know there was a time when some of them may have been made abroad, but I can double check that for you, and I'm sure somebody else will tell you in the comment if I'm wrong. Uh, let's have a look. Lance Moss says, hey, CGS, if you come to Summonham, make the drive down from Nashville to Memphis and come and see me, man. We'll have some... Adult beverages and coffee and jam out. That sounds like an absolute plan, Lance, and I will definitely take you up on that if I come to Summer Nam. That would be really cool, my friend. Uh, Savvy Symbiont, hi. How are you doing? Hey, is this the new studio, Annex? Yes, it is indeed. This is the new studio area. 
the the filming area in the uh, the studio outside. So hope you like it. CGS has been around for a long time, and again, another example of someone who's a positive member of the overall YouTube global guitar community. Oh, thanks, Terry. We all try to be. There's some real, real nice people in the in the community on YouTube for guitar, and uh, we all help each other out. It's really good to to go and meet a few more of them this year, and definitely, I've had an absolute ball with with many of them. And in fact. One of the uh, the next thing on my list to tell you is that Mike Bradley is meant to be coming to sit on this sofa soon uh, once he gets back because he is going to Winternam in Anaheim and uh, once he gets back from there he's promised me faithfully that he'll come down and and we'll do a, a, another video together because the one that we did at GitCon didn't quite come out as clear as I wanted it and so he's going to come and visit and have a jam out with me. So that's off my list. I should be ticking these off to say which ones I've told you, shouldn't I? Uh, let's have a look. What else have we got? But thank you, Terry. That's really kind. Try and be positive. Everybody try and be positive. Look after each other. Yeah. Um, another person saying there, Jean-Louis uh, Lefebvre, saying that the, the website is down. The website is down. I've got a tech support query on uh, trying to get it back up, my friend. As soon as I can, I will. So there's a famous Philex signature from China and Germany. Huh? Not that I'm aware of, but uh, that'd be interested. Um, hey, happy guy. Uh, he about caught me off guard when he said porn store. <laughs> Woo! <Wheel. laughs> yeah. Porn as in P-A-W-N, not P-O-R-N. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that strap video coming really soon. Sorry, I'm really behind on these comments, aren't I? Let's skip down a bit. Hello from Belgium. Yeah, cool. Recently bought a 2003 Guild F50. Best acoustic I've played. Excellent. Have you got any videos up on that, John? Let me know. I'd like to see that. Um... Okay, right. Thanks, BV Ninja. He's confirmed there. Mike, the new famous D and Phil X artist are made in China. Cool. Okay, so there we go, folks. Um, I, I don't profess to be uh, a know-it-all, so thanks very much for, for filling us in there, BV Ninja. Good man. Uh, Premier Guitars. Oh, okay. Famous announced new D series, electric guitar models. Yep, yeah, cool. Brilliant. Thanks for that. And uh, Terry's shared the link as well. Uh, Marsman said, hi, CGS. Did you mod your SC550 Harley Benton? No, not yet. I'm waiting, actually, on a response from uh, Simeon and my buddies over at Toman to see what they want to do with these guitars, to see whether they want them back, whether they're just review guitars or whether they're expecting me to hang on to them before I do any modifications on them. I think that's probably a good idea. I'm quite happy um, just to demo them for you. I'm doing a, a couple more demos at the moment for Ben at JHS, and they're interesting, and they're definitely going back. So, again, all these things, it allows me to be uh, impartial because I'm not getting any kind of kickback for it. I don't get paid to do this. And, um, yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm quite cool whether they want to send these to me or not, and I'm not looking to keep them all either. The whole point of doing these reviews is for you guys so that you get to see and hear and get a little bit of my opinion on them, uh, but mainly so that you can see and hear them to make up your own opinion and do the review for me. So there we go. Um, I would like you to profile some of your Axe presets for us Kemper users. Is something like that possible? Do you know, funny thing is, I was watching a video the other day, and somebody had used the Kemper to profile some of the Axe effect settings. I'm not sure quite why you would want to do that, because a lot of the amplifiers that are on the Axe effects are already the standard ones that are profiled on the Kemper. You've got a whole range of Marshalls, Friedmans, Mezzas, you know, you name it, they're on the Kemper. But 
I guess in a lot of ways, with some of the impulse responses on the axe effects and some of the stuff that people are building, there are some sounds there that it would be great to have on the Kemper. So quite happy to do whatever I can. I don't have a Kemper, so I can't do the profiling. Although that's another thing on my list. Uh, in fact, let's go to it now. I've got another two guys that I met recently that were in a, in a band that were working on a, on a production with me. And both those guys have agreed to come in. Amazing guitar players. And I'm looking to get some real, real good guitar players that are unknown and uh, that are local to me to come and join me in the studio and make a few videos. So if you're in the UK, in the south of UK, and you know a decent guitar player that you think I should interview or get them to come and show some chops, let me know. But I've got at least two coming, and um, they're going to demo some of their gear as well. So, um, yeah, that's going to be good fun. What are we saying? <laughs> oh, what I was saying was on in response to the Kemper profiles of the Axe Effects, and one of the guys that is coming has got a Kemper, so it might be a, an opportunity to do that. So that was why I went off on that tangent. It looks a bit like a Woolworth starter guitar. There, yeah, okay, right. <laughs> Actually, the, the HB range all of the guitars I've played. Now, I know everyone's going to say they were sending me the 550 and the CST24 Custom um, to review, and they knew it was coming to me, so they would have made extra special sure that those guitars were in top flight condition. But I have to say they were only in very, very marginally better condition than all the Harley Bentons that I've had. I Touch wood. I haven't had a bad Harley Benton. I had the very first one that we got. Uh, I think there was a, a mark on the SC450 that I bought. Um, or that wasn't the first one, was it? The first one, I popped my cherry with the SG-shaped one, which was really incredible. In fact, I must get that out and play it again because it's got a great tone. But, no, they've all been really good. Uh, AH thought you'd keep that one. Um, I found the neck pickup fine. Looking to mod the bridge. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, cool. If I remember correctly, the China ones are going to be the cheapest famous guitars someone can purchase to just have a few low-end ones, have a low-end one. Yeah, that seems to be what a lot of people are doing um, with their, their lower-end ranges. It's like the... Korea made SE for PRS and now in fact Chapman's done it the other way around hasn't he because he started in China then went to Korea and now he started a UK top end line which is he's doing really well bless him just bought an F310 after your D45 video so thanks that's cool Steve really pleased about that in fact I was playing the F310 just yesterday evening and do you know, the strings, that's why I picked up the D45 copy tonight, because the string sounded so bright on that Yamaha. I wanted to see if these were still as bright, because both of them have still got the set of strings on them when I changed the two together to do a fairer comparison video. And I have to say, they're both holding up really well. And that D45, it's, it's not buckling on the top, it's not warping on the neck. So far, touch wood. Oh, we touch this wood. It's a bit closer. Or this wood. <laughs> Man, I wish I could be as calm as you are in front of the camera. Hey, uh, it's, it's very, very easy, four walls. The, the simple thing is I'm only talking to one camera, so I only ever see one of you at a time or only see one camera at a time. And what's more, I love doing this. I really, really like making videos for you guys, which is why I still do it. So it's something I really enjoy. And to be fair, just sit here, chill out and relax. It's just like having a little chat with one of my mates in the room. So, But I'm glad that comes across. Thanks, buddy. Uh, it's below, says Variety. 
any pedal reviews coming up? Picked up a Ingwe Malmsteen Overdrive and a Dirty Shirley from Friedman Epic Pedals. Different budgets, though. Yep, actually, I haven't got a pedal review as such, but I have got a review coming up of the Rockboard system, and it's really quite interesting. And um, what I've done, I don't want to spoil the video too much, but I was a little bit inspired by seeing Dave Barlow with his amplifier, the, the blue guitar amp, um, what, blue one, um, on his pedal board. And I wanted to try and create that, <laughs> recreate that to a lesser extent using the Britwind that Hot Tone very kindly sent me to review. And I've put a couple of other interesting pedals on that board, one that you haven't seen yet and that I haven't done a review on because I've had it for years and years and years, but another two pedals that you have seen or have appeared in my videos before. But the end result actually has come out really nicely, but I don't want to spoil that video. That's another video coming up. It's one of the three or four that I mentioned that are already made. And in fact, that one's entirely made, just needs editing down and uploading now. So. Uh, no more specific pedals coming up, although I have been asked to review a couple of things. So we'll see how that goes. I'm being fairly selective about pedals that I review because you've got some incredible reviewers already online. You know, you've got that pedal show. You've got my buddy Andy from Reverb. Uh, you've got people like Pete Thorne that do it all the time and Shane to a degree from in the blues. So I think there's a lot of guys out there already doing pedal reviews and I'm not sure that it's, it's something that, that you guys necessarily want to see on my channel, but if you do let me know and I'll, I tend to follow what you asked me to do anyway. So cool. I'm in the Midlands and not a great player. So RIP me <laughs> XD. Hey man, they're playing and great playing and how good you are at guitar really is one of the most subjective things that you can have in music. And I'm a great exponent and advocate of when you're playing something, if it sounds right, it is right. I'm not a great theory expert. I'm not a reader and I don't consider my chops of my guitar playing to be of a high standard either. But the key thing is, and this is the same for you as it is for everybody, is it something you can sit down and relax and enjoy doing? And if it is, and with, if you can play to the standards you want to play to for your own enjoyment, whether that be out gigging with a covers band, writing your own material or recording and writing your own material or doing that live, if you can play to the standard you need to, to express yourself on the instrument, then that is in my book, that's reached the pinnacle of where you need to be. So don't worry too much about being a shredmeister. I never have. It doesn't worry me. I love listening to it, and I love seeing other people play incredible chops, and I have every respect for them. But it's not the be-all and end-all, my friend. It's more important that you're happy with what you're doing. What have we got? Ah, I mean, Rabia would be on top of my list if ever I was over there. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice. Uh, he's a great player. Absolutely great player. Really good player. And very interesting. And that's what I look for in guitar players because there are so many thousands of incredible guitar players out there that can shred like nobody's business. But there are not many that are really, truly unique anymore. Uh, I guess... I don't want to I don't want to diss anybody but there are a lot of people that sound like a lot of other people and are intending I think to to follow the same sort of chops and the same sort of lines as other players whereas what I really like to hear is a guitar player that's got their own unique voice on the instrument and that's a real challenge these days because what hasn't been done goodness me who knows let's have a look what else have we got Mark Pritchard, what's up, my fellow Englishman? Hey, man, good to see you. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> uh, 
I did say pop my cherry. Some others are complaining QC has gone down with the latest run of Harley Benton guitars. Not in my experience. Not not recently. I've bought, obviously, just before I got the ones sent to me, I bought the bass this year. I bought the CST, the green one this year, uh, later this year. And I also bought the Travel GS Mahogany. None of those had any issues at all. If they did, I would have told you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Terry. Cool, it's lovely to have you on board. Uh, yeah, and you and Lance always do a great job of moderating my uh, live streams. Thanks, guys. Let's have a look. Thumbing up now. You need to make this a podcast. Yeah, I'll leave this one live because it, it was a promised one. And um, we got quite a few people watching. We went up to 54 at one time. There's 39 here now. I don't know how many likes there are. But if you are enjoying this, give it a thumbs up. And I might do more frequent live videos. Uh, some Dave dude says, I like my US guitars, but I always buy strings across the pond. Roto sound, roto yellow electric strings. Cool. I'm a... Now... Dadario, Dadario. <laughs> Somebody told me the other day that I pronounced it wrong when I used, when I was calling the strings Diadario, and it apparently it's Dadario, but they're the ones I use. XL one two fives. Mike, that Joss Allen, who was at Andersons, is somewhere in the south of England. He now has a new Blues Brothers YouTube. Will be up for it. If he's near you, yeah, I'll give him a shout. He did a video with Mike while we were at GitCon, and I didn't. And he also did one with uh, Steve from Boston, and I didn't get a chance to make a video with him. But when I saw their videos, I kind of wished I had because he was another player that really is quite unique and approaching some of the shred shops from a completely new angle, which really works for me. Good call, BV Ninja. I might see if I can get hold of him. There's another guy that I really would like to make a video with that's friends with me and has started following me. And we had a couple of little mini chats. Um, and that is a guy called Carl Golden. He's on YouTube. And I'd like to grab hold of him at some stage and, and maybe get him to do a lesson for, for my viewers on here. He's another incredible guitar player. Uh, Guinness 780, great to see you feeling better, uh, buddy. Happy New Year. Keep on rocking. Thanks, my friend. Really appreciate that. He's a friend of mine on Facebook. On uh, uh, Can sound Joss out if you want. Do that. Go ahead. Yes, please. That would be great. I'd love to get him down, and maybe we could do, we could do a couple of videos together. That would be really, really awesome. Uh, keep your personality, and maybe later have a jam nights, drink nights, guest host nights. And some gear, just my opinion. Well, I'm open to do anything that you'd like me to do, some D Dave dude. Um, F Furiora, I can't wait. So that's what I said. That's why I said that. Hey, man, good to see you. Soon there's software coming where we will be able to jam over the net better than during live shows. All good, all exciting stuff. CGS, you're speaking to my soul. Cool, man. Buckethead, great original player. Um, again, can be a little bit following the herd with some of his shred, but you're right. He is he is approaching the guitar from a completely different direction and very original. I like him. Uh, Mike, my friend Josh Smith has UK tour starting soon. If you can, and UK folks in the chat should catch his show. He's fantastic. Josh Smith. Okay, uh, have you got any links to that? Stick them in the in the comments section, not in the live chat, but in the comments section of this video, and then people can go and and follow that because if you recommend him, my friend, I'm sure he's good. Hey Ed, how you doing? Good to see you, my friend. Ed Dana's in the house. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing in China? <laughs> like it see the shredding is what i want to do with that with a black metal influence well if that's your bag um furiora then that's what you got to focus on my friend just just play that stuff and watch videos on youtube about others that you respect demoing some of their chops and it's the best way to learn really good they're amazing compared to when i was a kid 
uh, we didn't have YouTube and all of this fantastic internet resource that we've got now. So it's all out there for us. Uh, who else we got? You never asked to make a video with me, China. <laughs> I think we've made a few, my friend. Uh, Will Varela saying, China guitar skeptic, shredding is just shredding for effect. But yes, m yeah, most shredders like EVH, Zach Wilde, etc. Guitar Hero is Leslie West. How did I forget Leslie West on my top five underrated guitar players? Yeah, his tone and style was not to shred, but to play tastefully. And that to me is where... Gary Moore uh, has an awful lot of soul and Bernie Marsden as well. It's for me, it's all about that feel and they were original. And so was Leslie, Leslie West, great guitar player. Good shout, my friend. Uh, Brian Ransom is one of an old mate of mine. He has a YouTube channel, most excellent player singer. Awesome. Again, stick a link to his channel in the comments down below. BS detective and let people go and discover him. That's really cool. Ed, you can do a real slow bluesy shred. I've heard you do some licks, my friend. You, another guy that hides his light under a bushel. What do I think about Dave Gilmore, by the way? A very healthy and happy new year. Thank you so much, Rob. Uh, that's from Rob Crack. Is that how you sp pronounce it? What do I think about Dave Gilmore? I think Dave Gilmore, again, he is... he. He's such an old established player and in his time and of his time, he was an innovator. Now he's one of the people that everybody tries to copy. And so absolute utter respect for Dave Gilmore, but it's, it's a little bit perturbing to see quite how many Dave Gilmore clones there are out there. And uh, there's only one original. That's what I always say. Bring your own style, bring your own soul and spirit to the instrument. That's really good. But, yeah, love Dave Gilmore as a player. In the Blues is in the house. Hey, Shane, how you doing, buddy? Real good to have you in here. Um, I was mentioning you and Dr. Rick earlier when I was saying what was coming up in 2019. I've got that video still of us all having those couple of amazing jams at GitCon to come, the acoustic one. And also I had a little... A little to and fro with Dr. Rick over there. So that was good fun as well. Good to see you in. Anyone have any opinions on the famous Phil X Signature Artist Series? I haven't played that, but I've played the XG. And I'm currently in discussion with Framus about buying my own because I loved it so much. The silver one I played out there was just awesome. And, in fact, Dr. Rick bought the... Um, the the mahogany bodied one with the two p90s in it and that was a great tone i didn't get to play it because the guy didn't put it down and then when he did put it down he bought it <laughs> so i missed out on that one but they really really are nice um what's the best way to contact you if joss is up for it very very simply bb ninja anyone can contact me at any time china guitar skeptic at gmail.com it's my only email and it works every time. So anyone that wants to contact me, send me an email there. I try to answer everybody if I can. Same with the comments, if I can. Um, yeah, Terry saying welcome, Ed Dana in the blues. And anyone else who's just joined, it's great to have Shane here. Really nice. Um, some Dave dude says, yeah, Gary Moore, absolutely. Uh, Lefty Mike, how you doing? CGS, how is... How is, how's it rather glad I could catch you live. Really glad you could as well. My friend, I just thought tonight I was messing about for the last couple of days, trying to get this, uh, new microphone, this, um, Sennheiser E 609 or 906. I can't remember what it is to work with the, with the mixing desk and put that through OBS. I gave up in the end. So I'm literally, I'm just doing a Google hangout. Uh, with the uh, with the Brio, um, and it's working pretty well, and I've got the radio mic on, so yeah, I will get a system up and running soon where I can actually play guitar live, which will be good fun. But yeah, I'm really glad that that you made it tonight. Frank Marino's in. Uh, sorry, no, sorry. Uh, Dan Jackson says Frank Marino. 
I knew a guitar player, an English guitar player called Marino, who used to play with Lisa Dominic. I don't know if that's the same guy, uh, but he was an awesome player. Um, but there we go. Let's let's see if any of you know them. You forgot. <laughs> Ed Dana in the top five underrated guitar beeps. Yeah, I I didn't make a video of that, Ed. <laughs> but I could make that video anytime you like. Uh, but you wouldn't be in my top five because you're a great guitar player, mate. Uh, Joe Bonamassa from Europe. He is my Joe Bonamassa, John, Joe Bonamassa from Europe. I wish he was still around for sure. Uh, lefty Mike. Hey, fellow lefty. CGS, are you familiar with Gary Green, former gentle giant axe man? He's still quite the innovator. I'm not, but I will be going to check him out now. And again, uh, Miles Man, thank you for that. Again, please put it in the permanent comments, not just the live chat. Put a link in down below and so that other people can go and check out those people that you think are good guitar players. Everyone's saying hello to Shane. Yeah, it's so cool to have you in, man. Wicked. Rick finally got the, his XG. Good to know that. Real, real good to know that. I bet he's not put it down since he got it. I must say, I'm going to have to come all the way to Australia to try that guitar out now, aren't I? <laughs> not have a chance to play it in Germany. Furiora, uh, I said, I meant to me, the shred is just another emotion expressed. Just tends to be more intense and extreme emotion. Yeah, fair, fair point, fair point. Each to their own. Everybody has their own soul, their own voice, and their own approach to the guitar. That's what I say. There's no right and wrong. There's no good. There's no bad. There is only your style and other people's styles. And some of us like to play in the style of others and to, to do some copycat work, but also come up with our own riffs and our own licks, and, and that's always good fun. Uh, Dr. Rick bought the German-made Phil X. It, he did indeed, the XG. And I think it was master built, actually. Shiga Matt, we love you, CGS. I love you too, Shiga Matt. You have to come round pretty soon and pick up one of these bases and have a bit of a jam on that. Matt is my uh, regular jam buddy, bass player. Um, we have a good time. He's been on the channel before. Glad the audio is sounding nice. That's wicked. Uh, mate, i got to go. Happy New Year. BS Detective, that's okay, man. Glad you're liking the video and the live stream, and bless you too, my friend. Thanks very much. I have no idea how long we've been going. It's got to be over an hour now. And so I, with my voice as it is, still not quite recovered. I won't be hanging around too much longer, friends. But um, let's take a few more of these comments. There seem to, be, there seem to be a few more, and I've got a few more things to let you know about as well. Uh, Taking, Ed Dana says, taking nothing away from Dr. Rick, but Shane really gets overlooked. One of the best blues lickers on YouTube. Couldn't agree more, my friend. Shane is an absolutely awesome player. I uh, love listening to him, and I've had the pleasure to have, to have jammed with Dr. Rick. Didn't really get a chance to jam with you, Shane, because there were so few lefty guitars over in Martin O'Kirchen, but... Uh, Let's hope they change that next year, and let's hope we both get to go there next year because really, really would like that. Uh, Paramedic Hope is there. Hey, brother, good to see you. Real nice to see you. He's my good friend from Birmingham and has been doing some, some work with me on various stuff that I'm not sure he wants me to say. But um, great to see you, brother, and I hope that you took my advice and followed up on that course you had taken and get those exams sorted out because you put a lot of time and effort into that, my friend, and it seems a shame to miss out on the final exam. So keep pushing, buddy. Keep pushing. Dr. Fingers 007. Hey, man, good to see you. Uh, Shannon Blues. Yes, but Dr. Rick has the best guitar face. Hands down. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Rick has got some serious guitar faces. He looks like he's chewing something sometimes, doesn't he? It's like amazing. But the guy is just feeling it, and that's so cool. Um, Shane saying, come jam with us, mate. I tell you what, with the weather as it is at the moment, and my chest as it is, I could really do with some of your beautiful Australian weather at the minute. Um so, yeah, that would be really cool, my friend. Uh, Dr. Fingers 007, are those both Harley Benton basses? No, one of them's a, um, a fake Geddy Lee copy. 
with the Milton logo on it, the black one, but the white one that you can see there is a Harley Benton uh, HB450. And I haven't stopped playing it. I haven't picked up the black Fender copy since I got that Benton bass. That's been on every recording I've done. It's really nice to play. Shigamat Matt will confirm that for you because he's played it too. Uh, love the Union Jack rug. Cool, man. Yeah, it was, wasn't expensive. I think it was about 37 quid and uh it's really good i think i got it from the same place as i got the black headphones one that's at the other end of the studio good fun terry thanks for giving me a time check there man yeah 53 minutes i'm, I'm starting to feel it now guys but i really hope you've enjoyed this i'm not gonna get through my list i must tell you another one off the list so <clears throat> i've got a local luthier that's local to me coming to demo some of the guitars he's built. So that's coming up in the, in the next few months on the channel, certainly in the first half of 2019. Alex Green from Algri Pickups, he's coming over here as well to make a video in my studio. You may remember last year I introduced you to Alex and the Chameleon Pickups, which are a pickup that can be switched between single coil, P90, humbucker and hot humbucker. And he's coming to install a set of the chameleons and you guys can choose which one it goes in but at the moment my preference is that it either goes into bluey number two the milton prototype mt1 uh, second prototype number two or in pink number two number three prototype but you let me know what you think of that i've got one more thing on my list um and also now, I've got two things on my list. One is that I'm hoping to do a few more top fives in five, and I'm looking to get some guest YouTubers. So, Shane, maybe we can have a chat about uh, you appearing on one of those, my friend. That would be really cool. Um, I don't know what that's all about. So, Elephant in the Room, how's Phoenix? Don't think that's uh, don't think it's anything to do with me. Um, I'm looking at new plugins for recording vocals now, matey. Excellent call, cool, Paramedico. That's really cool. Look forward to doing some more work with you. Um, Ed Dana tries to steal Shane's licks whenever he can, <laughs> which is impressing Shane. Mark Batchelor says, Hey, CGS, I'm a mutual friend of Dave in Texas. I see your Va Vox Valtronic amp. I feel those amps are great underrated modeling amps. Thanks for your work. Yeah, I've got it there because it does, it does give a great range of, of everything from vintage clean um, blackface type amplifiers right the way through to the modern dual Rex. And it's got a pretty good tone on all of them. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it is a good usable tone. And one of the things I've found with that Vox Valve Tronic is that it sits really, really nicely and cuts through a mix without being intrusive, which is a really, really impressive thing to do for an amp that small. So, Really love that. Good call, man. And give my regards to Dave in Texas. I haven't spoken to him for a while. I must do. In fact, he um, tried to hang out with me, uh, video hang out with me, while we were taking my daughter out for her birthday. And I was really, really ill and sat in the middle of an Italian restaurant and my phone starts bleeping away at me. And it's Dave's in Texas trying to give me a call. So um, say hi for me and tell him I will catch up with him soon. Um, Hi, CGS. Will you be attending the guitar show in, ba uh, in Birmingham in February? Hey, I'll look that one up. Again, please, if you've got a link that you can either email me or put in the comments, the permanent comments down below, please do that so that others can, can find the link to that as well. But, yeah, if there's a guitar show in Birmingham in February, <clears throat> I'm due to visit Birmingham in February to do an update of some training that I need to do. So... I think that's around the 20th, that sort of week. I think that's a Wednesday. So if it's if it's on that sort of weekend, there might be a chance that I could stop off and see that. So, yeah, hopefully. Scotsman, hey, how you doing? Uh, Ed Dana would like to see some videos of just 10 minutes jamming, breaking down some of your licks. Yeah, I'd quite like to see that as well, Shane. That would be wicked. Uh, I've been digging Robin Trower lately. Yeah. Do you know, yeah, he's another player that um that's got a real distinctive edge to his sound and and the way he approaches phrasing really good call there 
Hey, Dana says, question mark, Ben Crow. Well, yep, that is the last thing on my list, which I'm hoping to do before the summer, which is I need to get back in touch with Ben Crow from Crimson Guitars. You may remember from the UK Guitar Show back in September that he invited me and Dave Barlow to go down to Dorset and document a video document of us learning to build a guitar. So I still fully, fully intend to take you up on that, Ben. So I will be in touch really soon. And I think that would be something that you'd all enjoy immensely. And I know it's something that I would thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. So, yeah, going to try and get over to Crimson Guitars and build a guitar. And that was the last of my list, which is pretty good going because we must have got over the hour now. Um, and let's just see the last few comments. And then I think we'll we'll wind it up. Um, thanks for that, Shane. You've just, I think that's in response to me. Yep. I've got, I'd love you to do a five in five with me. So I'll send you an email or we'll touch base on, um, on Instagram or something as we often do. So yeah, brilliant, mate. Thanks very much. Uh, Fioria Phoenix, the part of caster that you get dropping. Oh, don't. Of course we called that Phoenix, didn't we? Uh, it's still here. It's still alive and kicking. Uh, and every time I do a live show, it kicks me. Um, I really don't have the space. I was thinking about just where you are at the minute with the camera. I was thinking about getting a, a workbench. But the big problem is I would need dust extraction and I would need uh, it would play havoc with all the electronics gear in here. So I do have a little shed, uh, a, a summer house in the garden as well. But that at the moment is for my children. We call it the beehive and they like to play out there uh, in the summer. So, and that's got electricity that's fed from this studio. So it's, it's possible that I could convert that so that I could do some more guitar workshop stuff. But what I might do is I might take Phoenix down to Dorset with me when I go to visit Ben Crow, and maybe we can just finish it off there in his workshop. I haven't forgotten, and I'm always good to my word, and I did promise to finish that parts caster, and, yeah, I just kept dropping the damn thing. Never mind. Uh, Mark Shields says, nice couch. Well, usually in my old videos, I get the mickey taken out of me for that flowery old couch, but, yeah, this one's a nice leather. Actually, it's a sofa bed. These all slide out and uh, create a... I can't do it with the, the rug in front of it, but you can create a nice sort of chaise at one end and whatnot. So, uh, yes, Ed, I watched your video saying that you'd had neck surgery. Get well soon, my friend, and uh, I hope that's all going well for you. I have the Vox Mini, G, Mini 3 G2 battery powered amp. That's Matt um, Satterley. And he says it's got great tones and decent volume for its size. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the smaller Voxes. Um, they, they do have a good, um, a good tone. Ben Crow, great guitars. Uh, Lucky Bugger, I really want to do one as well. I know. And I do feel um, really, really privileged uh, to be in the position that I've slowly got into through doing this and through making videos for you guys and yeah i really do feel honored and and it's thanks to you lot so thanks so much for all the support you give me all the thumbs up you give me all the likes and shares and all that good stuff and everybody comes in and i've, I've had over 40 watching most of this evening which means a great deal to me it really does so thank you um scotsman saying feel better I feel better already just from all of your lovely comments, everybody. So that's really cool. 63 minutes uh, and uh, Terry's off to eat. Enjoy your dinner, Terry. Um, might be lunch. No, what's the time? 10 o'clock? Yes, yeah, 5 o'clock over there. Your tea, as we call it over here. Lots and lots of thumbs. Check out um, these guitars hand-built in Dumfries, Scotland. Again, um, Put your link in down below, my friend, in the permanent comments and let everybody see that. Okay, thumbs up, guys, in the blues. Thanks, Shane. Really appreciate that. Um, thanks all. I have to go. Will Varela. Yeah, that's cool, man. I, do you know, I really, really feel that 
I should go as well because I'm starting to get that chesty feel and it doesn't sound great. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed seeing the new studio set and and I hope you've enjoyed this live show. I'm sorry that it wasn't on the 1st of January as I'd intended to be, uh, but I really was in bed absolutely with a fever. Must have been in the 90s and feeling much better now, but I've still got this chest infection. It happens to me every year at this time because we have a shutdown for Christmas and a new year um, in the industry. And because I'm working hard full time all year, as well as making videos and other stuff that I do, I think the second that I get a moment's respite, the body just goes, here you go, have all the things that I should have let you have all year. And uh, I end up getting floored by by man flu but this definitely wasn't man flu because i literally could not get out of bed for two days and that chest infection is still hanging about but there we are i'm feeling a lot better and i just want to say yeah in the blue says if anyone is bored i'll be going live in about 30 minutes oh shane that's really cool um thanks buddy looks like the famous downstairs area that's the vibe I was going for. And with these uh, bits of trilight, I was going for that sort of GitCon vibe as well. I just wanted to make something that was a little bit more interesting to look at for my videos. So, yeah, excellent. And I will be tipping off up into bed, and I'll be putting my headphones on, and I'll join you, Shane, in the comments in your live show. So really look forward to that, brother. And I just want to say a big, big thank you to everybody that's tuned in tonight, all the people that have liked, all of the new subscribers that are here for the first time. And as always, folks, please, if you have liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon so you get notified when I do uploads and put out live videos like tonight because I didn't announce this one at all. And I, I'm going to try and... Keep to my promise of doing at least six this year, one every two months as a minimum. If you want more, let me know and I'll try and do more. Anyway, voice is going. I'm looking forward to jumping into my sack and chilling out and relaxing while I watch Shane from In The Blues go live. So everybody, thanks for tuning in. And as always, you take really good care. I'm now going to switch off the mic and go and stop the live stream. Thanks for joining in.